Hello and welcome back to SketchUp Assist. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at shortcuts. Now, shortcuts are efficiency plays. They allow you to bind functionality to a keystroke or set of keystrokes. And this can be more efficient than navigating with your mouse and selecting the proper icon. Now, there are some factory set shortcuts. For example, the spacebar puts you in select mode. The O key puts you in orbit mode. Now, we're going to have a look at how to manage these shortcuts in this video. Uh, and stick around to the end of the video where I show you a very efficient trick for listing the shortcuts. Uh, and before we get started, uh, don't forget to like the video if you find it useful. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And finally, if you find the channel helpful, please click subscribe. Uh, now let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with Windows, and we're in SketchUp Pro 2023 for Windows. We're going to click on the Window drop-down, Preferences. And here we will see shortcuts. So in this dialog box here, we have the list of functions that we kind of sign to different shortcuts. And we can see by searching for perhaps a function that we're that we know is assigned to a key already, we can kind of see the behavior here. So when we search for a rectangle, we will see it's currently assigned to R. Um, if we select rotated rectangle, we'll see it's not currently assigned to a shortcut. We're going to see how to set a shortcut now. So let's come in and search for follow me. All right, we see it currently is not assigned. Now, maybe logical to assign it to an F. Let's try that and see what happens. So let's type F in the add shortcut. Let's hit the plus key. And you will notice that uh, SketchUp comes back with a warning saying, hey, F is currently assigned to offset, the offset function. Would you like to reassign it? And we're not going to do that in this case. Now, you might decide in some cases you want to overwrite a shortcut. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose no. And I'm going to come back in and say shift F. And I'm going to add that. And there we go. We've now um, found a, an available uh, shortcut for the Follow Me tool. Now we need to hit OK to set that. And if we come in here and type Shift F, you will see in the uh, little icon on the cursor there that, in fact, we do go into shortcut mode. And just as a further demonstration, if we come in and draw a quick line, and go into rectangle mode here. Let's create a very, very simple profile. If we select that line, I hit Shift F. That's going to take me into follow me mode. And there we go. That's the behavior we expect to see. And by the way, if you want to see how the follow me function works, check out this earlier video that we did. So in, in Windows, this is how you would uh, find and manage your shortcuts. Now, let's move back over to the Mac side. Okay, we're back here on the Mac side. What you're going to see is that there are a lot of similarities with the Windows uh, version uh, when it comes to shortcuts. It's just things are in different locations. So in the Mac side, you're going to go to SketchUp Preferences. Uh, and here you will see shortcuts in a dialog box that looks somewhat like what you saw on the PC side. So you have a list of functions and a sign. The big difference is that you can see the keys here. So as you scroll through, it's kind of easier to see the assigned keys on the Mac side. Uh, you can do the same thing that we did on the Windows side, you can come in and if you know how to type, you can search for uh, rectangle. Um, you'll see it's assigned to the R key. Rotated rectangle is not assigned to a key. Uh, we can do the same assignment example that we did on the Windows side. So let's find follow me. It's currently not assigned to a key. If we assign F, uh, SketchUp will alert us that that key is already assigned to the offset function. It'll ask if you want to replace it or keep the original. We're going to keep the original. And we're going to assign it to Shift F again. And here we see uh, on the Mac side, the, the Shift symbol is used instead of the Shift word that we saw on uh, the, the window side. But it is assigned. It has assigned it to the Shift F key. And if we close this now, we can come in and once again perform similar little tasks. Create a profile here. We're going to select this line. We're going to go Shift F, and you'll see that takes us into Follow Me mode. And there we go. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're going to show you a quick trick for listing out the current shortcuts in a concise way. And we're going to do that using the Ruby console. So we're going to come to Extensions, Developer, Ruby console. And we're going to type put S, which is a basically print the screen statement for in the Ruby language. We're going to type SketchUp, colon, colon, get shortcuts and hit enter. 
And there we go. There's a list of the current shortcuts, including at the bottom, you can see the shift F that we assigned to follow me. So this is a really nice tool for quickly seeing uh, in a clean list all the shortcuts that you have set. So if you're still on, thanks for sticking around. Please like the video if you found it useful. If you find the channel uh, valuable, please click subscribe and be happy to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.